all right so in this video i just want to give some uh, advice or sort of tips about starting driving in ireland in my experience a uh, few people have asked me so i just share uh, my experience and some mistake uh, i did uh, that i also want to share so i was four years in dublin right for as a phd student but uh, uh, i never cared for uh, learning driving i never drove in india where i come from and uh, in ireland uh, in dublin four years uh, i never sort of cared for uh, learning driving now this is a mistake right so in dublin you have some sort of a okay type of public transport and you will never sort of feel of studying uh, driving but uh, as soon as you move out of dublin then you will feel of uh, having a car because uh, the public transport outside dublin in ireland is more or less non existent there are some good public public transport in uh, cork and galway i have heard but uh, it is not like in dublin so um so in dublin within dublin you can go from one corner to another corner by bus maybe you have to change one or two times uh, but still you can sort of go there right and uh, in uh, uh, in uh, also there is some uh, local train and sort of tram they call luas but uh, uh, outside dublin it is absolutely uh, non existence of public transport in no train no tram no buses um, i mean there will be but that very few and it will not be helpful and it will not serve your purpose um, for your daily li- living your daily life so after coming to sligo after after staying 4 years in dublin i immediately uh, started uh, feeling to have a car first of all i have a daughter uh, uh, i have a daughter and uh, uh, so the thing is in one day i had to go to some sort of uh, uh, medical center with my daughter and uh, it was heavily raining and i mean outside uh, dublin dublin and county kildare these two are kind of dry uh, weather is bit dry than other sort of counties in ireland but i mean sligo northwest it's uh, always raining and windy so it's very difficult uh, to Uh, maintain uh, sort of a usual uh, daily life, uh, uh, comfortable life, uh, without a car, especially when you have a baby and so on. Um, and um, yeah, so I was uh, supposed to go to a doctor with my daughter, and and it was raining and it was windy, and uh, even though it is like one and half kilometer away from my place, but uh, it was very hard um, to go there. Uh, so uh, that 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 was the time when i already spent like 4 months or 5 months in sligo sort of uh, what i call uh, a response to start driving urgent uh, purpose to start driving myself uh, so i immediately uh, so and i also felt that and and since the drive stin since you start the driving uh, since you start the process of driving in ireland it is a kind of long process because uh, you have i already discussed in one of the video it's like seven or eight steps to get a full driving license and uh, so uh, i'll uh, i i failed that while i was in dublin i at least could have started the process what i mean is that uh, the first step is to read uh, like 800 questions and their answers and you have to appear some sort of driving theory test right so i could have done that in the four years of dublin so but i didn't do uh, and kind of never cared to do that so all the people coming to ireland as a phd student wherever you were settling wherever you were starting your uh, your phd study i encourage at least to start the process um um which i did, did not do and um, if you want to stay longer in ireland uh, then if you move out of dublin then you will absolutely um you will, and you have a family if you have a family uh, if you are single then still will be things will be still okay but um uh, for example in sligo even if you are single then uh, life would be difficult without a sort of a car 
uh, if you uh, even there is no sort of um, uh, good sort of a uh, cycle track in sligo so even if you uh, have a cycle then things are not sort of um, uh, in a uh, in a quite good shape if you are cycling so the life here is very much car oriented so far i have experienced so anyway there uh, so the my the main point of my video is that if you are coming to ireland as a student um, as, especially as a phd student or masters whatever at least start the process of uh, um, of driving start that list clearing the theory test it doesn't cost much but eventually you have to buy a car and so on but uh, that that will that i mean along the way it, it will happen naturally but uh, if you do not start the process which i did not uh, in four years in dublin and i wasted i mean like one year in complete one year in sligo i am fortunate that um, i passed my driving test which is the full uh, license practical test uh, in 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 six months of uh, after getting my sort of a life uh, provisional license but in other counties the depends on timing and so on it's kind of a long process uh, when you start the process at least you start the process then things will be uh, things will be uh, easier to finish so that's all my wanted to say this is say and uh, about the seven steps of getting full license in ireland i already have a video um, where i explained in detail um i can have a quick look thank you